The scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y, for data set E. A line of best fit is shown. Data set F is created by multiplying the y coordinate of each data point from data set E by 3.9, which of the following could be an equation of a line of best fit for data set F. So this is data set E, and it's according and its respective line of best fit. We need to find the equation of line F, which will be a line of best fit created for points on points in data set E, but with their y coordinates multiplied by 3.9. So what we could do is find the slope and the y-intercept for data set E. Data set F is data set E, but with its y-coordinates multiplied by 3.9. So let's just choose two points on this line, which aren't the, we won't look at the actual data set, we're just going to look at the points on the line. So one point we can choose is the y-intercept of the line, and another one we'll choose here, a point like this, that looks to be at the intersection between two of these grid lines. So the first point seems to be at 0, that looks to be about 12, and the second point is at 12.30. Okay. So these are the points from data set E. In data set F, they would have their y coordinates multiplied by 3.9. So the x coordinate would stay the same, but y would be multiplied with 3.9. So we'd have to do 12 times 3.9, which if we put into our calculator, 12 times 3.9 is equal to 46.8. And for the second point, x would stay the same, and y would be 3.9 times higher. So we would do 330 times 3.9. We put in that into our calculator. 30 times 3.9 would get 117. Okay, so now we have our two points that would be on data set F, or line F, the line of best fit for data set F. So we can use these two points to find the slope. So slope which is, we usually uh, use m to denote the slope. So the slope for line f is equal to the change in y over the change in x for two points on the line. So the change in y, we just need to subtract the two y values from each other. So 46.8 minus 117. And then the change in x, we subtract the two x values from each other. So 0 minus 12. So now let's just calculate this. So 46.8 minus 117 gives us negative 70.2. And the change in x, 0 minus 12 is equal to negative 12. And that is just equal to 70.2 divided by 12. That's just equal to 5.85. The negatives cancel out. So the slope of our line is 5.85. And the y-intercept is easy to tell because our first point we chose was the y-intercept of line E. So that means the line the y-intercept for line F is just going to be the y-intercept of line E, but with the y-value multiplied by 3.9. So 
So the inter y-intercept of line f is just this point. The y-intercept of a line is always the value of y when x is 0. So in this case, when x is 0, y is 46.8. So now, with this two pieces of information, we can write our equation for line f in y equals mx plus b format, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So the equation is just 5.85x plus 46.8. Okay, so now we can look at the answer choices, and a seems very close to our answer. The y-intercept is the same, but the slope here is 5.9, which is very close to 5.85. The rest of the answer choices are very far off. Here, the y-intercept is the same, but the slope is only 1.5, so that's very off. Here it says the y-intercept is 12, which is incorrect. That would be the y-intercept of line E, and the same for D. It says the y-intercept is 12 as well. So D is also incorrect. So A is the correct answer.